Greetings subscribers and other curious persons. Welcome to another vlog inspired by the Goodreads Tuesday Talks group. This week's topic is favourite poems or lyrics found in favourite books. Well, it's a difficult topic for me is I'm sure there must have been poems and songs that I discovered in books or that I've come across in books and recognised the quote but I really can't think of that many and I'm racking my brains for about a week on this and the only thing I can think of that springs to mind without going through books looking is that the first of Simon R. Green's Shaman Bond series, uh, The Man with the Golden Talk, contains a reference to one of the characters really loving Within Temptation. And I like Within Temptation, but I can't remember lyric quotes in that. So thinking about it further, there's a disjunction in the way that I experience reading prose fiction as opposed to lyrical things such as poems and songs. I'm very much aware of books where there is a poem to start off the book so rather than having an introduction or an epigram the author will have a whole poem before the first chapter i'll enjoy the poem as a poem but there's always a step between okay i finished reading the poem and now i'm going to start reading the book I don't transition smoothly. Similarly with quotes at the start of a chapter or probably also within a chapter. I experience them either as I know that poem stroke song and I'll see it in that context and then I'll read the chapter or it's a reference to something within the story which doesn't trigger the wider poem or song. So there's something in the way that I experience the, t the media that means I don't take poems or lyrics from books as something that's an integral part of the book. So coming back to it months or years later, I can't say, oh yes, I discovered this poem because it was in a book. In, even in the case of Within Temptation, I know because I can remember buying my first Within Temptation album shortly after I first remember hearing one of their songs that I got into Within Temptation from hearing their songs on internet radio and that I only started listening to internet radio after I'd read Man with the Golden Talk the first time. So the only song stroke poem related connection between a specific book and something that I like that I can think of, I'm as certain as I can be that actually when I encountered it in the book, I didn't go out and research within temptation. So the uh, 
closest I've got to favourite poems or lyrics in books would be that when I was reading through the works of H.P. Lovecraft for the first time, he uses lots of references to existing texts and made up texts. And as with Michael Crichton and a few other authors, he jumbles them in. So it's not clear which ones are made up and which ones are real. And so I tried to compile a list and find the books that were mentioned in Lovecraft stories that were real. And one of those is Huisman's La Bas. And that led me on into Baudelaire. So my passing enjoyment of the works of Baudelaire, and it is passing because my French isn't good enough to read them in the original, so I'm reading translations, which again puts me a step back, comes from the works of H.P. Lovecraft, but via a French author who Lovecraft referred to, who is connected to Baudelaire through common themes and so forth. Uh, it's, a, it's a tricky question, really. Also, you know, the idea whether the things I encounter in a book that I like, where they're quotes, I would generally like the poem or the lyrics because certainly when I'm writing my own work, <clears throat> if a character quotes something, it's because either they like the work or it's an apposite quote. And whether I've first come across them in books or first come across them with someone quoting it to me, the quote isn't always the same as the work it's extracted from makes it. For instance, Frost quotes, good fences make good neighbours. It's usually quoted to support a community spirit type thing in the sense of people being together. Whereas the poem it's taken from is about how isolation is good, that one of the problems that society suffers from is if you know what people are doing in the privacy of their own homes, you get judgmental or creeped out by the fact that they're different from you. So the fences between, the separation that means that you wave at them when you pass, but you don't actually know them, means you can be close to each other physically without there being a problem. So the quote on its own is often used in an almost opposite meaning from the one that Frost intended when he put it in the uh, poem. It's similarly for other things. So even if I could remember books that I'd seen a quote in or a poem in that had caused me to track it down, potentially when I'd tracked that work down, it wouldn't have had the same resonance for me as the resonance of the extract within the context of the book. Now, potentially other people are different and there are people out there who have a whole long list of oh yes, this book really got me into the works of this poet, and it's great. And 
that's an equally valid model. But for me, because of the way my brain's wired, I either jump between lyrical appreciation of a poem stroke song and reading the book, or the quote is what gets me to look at the poem, but the poem is appreciated as a thing in itself. And I don't feel the poem and the book that led me to find it together strongly enough that I remember from this book, I got this poem. And apart from my quest away from the works of Lovecraft, there aren't really any works of poetry or lyricism that I enjoy because they were referenced in a book I like. So uh, I think I've done my usual uh, twice round the block on the point there, so toodaloo for now.